Well, I never thought that I would become a refugee. Among those escaping the violence, a former San Diegan and current freelancer with a La Mesa landscape design company. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, his journey out of the country has left him with mixed feelings. On the outside, Euro Lodonienko and his girlfriend Mariana were all smiles two days before the Russian invasion. Inside, they were all nerves amid rising tensions. They had traveled from Kiev to central Ukraine the day after this was taken. Mariana just said, like, we have to leave right now. They would travel to a town near the western border. Hours later, the invasion would begin. We had basically 30 minutes to leave. Lodonienko says he and Mariana got to a bus station amid a scramble for tickets. There was a lot of panic, just got the first ticket available any direction just to get ourselves out of there. They got two of the last tickets for a 15-minute bus ride into Slovakia. On the way there, gridlock like this. They saw families abandoning their cars for a five-mile trek to the border. Almost with kids beyond imagination. Hours after they crossed the border, Ukraine banned men ages 16 to 60 from leaving. As the two were making their escape in La Mesa, Lotonienko's boss, John Bodry, was waiting. Way overwhelmed, like... Uh, moments of just breaking down in tears. Lodonienko, a landscape architect, had worked in the San Diego area for Beaudry's company between 2018 and 2019 before returning to Ukraine. After letting Beaudry know they were safe, the two made their way to Amsterdam. They will likely be applying for a visa in the next few days to head to San Diego. We are lucky to get out. From another point of view, it's terrified to see that Ukrainian people stay inside the country and they fight uh, for, for independence, and you're not there. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. The couple has started a fundraiser to help Ukrainians with medical and other expenses. There is a link on our homepage, 10news.com.